Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No, you didn't read the title wrong. This is a hammock tutorial, but just bear with me for a second. Since I've been experimenting with different apparatus, I've started wondering if some of the silks tricks can be done on hammock. And so you may have noticed that I've done a few hammock tutorials from what I've learned so far. Today I'm going to show you how to do the dorsal diver on hammock. And guess what? It's so much easier than it is on silks. If you're new here, my name's Brendan. I'm a physio based in Australia. And on this channel, I make videos about all things aerial. So if you enjoy circus fun, subscribe and turn on the bell to become a member of our Cirque fam. All right, let's get started. And remember, you've got this. There's a lot less wrapping on hammock for this drop, so it's going to be a quick one. First up, we'll run through the drop, and then I'll show you in a spin and a basic flow. Start by making your way into sitting, and then straddle invert. Double crochet your legs, bend one knee and reach up, followed by the other side. Unless you've got good upper body strength, it's important that you don't reach up too high as this will make the inversion much more difficult. Extend your knees and roll backwards through the hammock, then really engage through your glutes and extend through your hips. Extend your knees and point your toes and make sure you arch your back. When you're ready to drop, let go with your hands and catch the hammock on the way through. I like to come into this double stag position at the end of a drop if I'm close to the mat. I'll show you again from another angle so you can see the importance of extending. If I stopped here it wouldn't look very good at all. You really need to extend through your hips and engage your legs and arch your back in this one. My next progression is to build upper body strength so I can get my hands higher on the invert allowing for more of an arched back. Next up I'll show you what it looks like in a slow spin before we get to a simple flow. If you're finding this tutorial helpful you can support the channel by liking and sharing the video. That's it for today's tutorial. I'll leave another video here in case you haven't already seen it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.